Hey gang, Anthony Fontana here, alive after five. It is, I think, 6.49 here on Friday night. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. I know I am. We had a crazy day today. Uh, hope all is well with you guys. Just real quick, I, you know, I got a lot of feedback last night uh, from, you know, some of the Dale Carnegie quotes that I gave. So I'm going to do a few more tonight and wrap it up because it's nice and light. It's easy to do. And uh, I think you'll get something out of it. Hey, Summer, how are you? Bobby, what's going on? So this morning, uh, yesterday morning when I woke up, it's really cold out. Uh, I drive a BMW and it was hesitating. When I, I started it and drove out of the driveway, it wasn't running right. It was something weird going on. And any of you that have a BMW know what BMW stands for. It stands for bring my wallet. So this morning we dropped it off at my mechanic and uh, it was only a spark plug. Just a spark plug, $211. Great. Anyway, better than $2,000. Again, BMWs are a pain in the neck when it comes to getting them fixed. So let's talk a little bit. Let's, let's go through a couple of real quick quotes here. From, we'll continue from yesterday. Okay. The old Carnegie. This guy is amazing. Hey, Frank, Bobby. All right. So number, number one. When we hate our enemies, we are giving them power over us. Power over our sleep, our appetites, our blood pressure, our health, and our happiness. How much time have we all wasted hating on anybody else? Thinking about something that happened 28 years ago. It's got to stop. Because what happens is the only person that gets affected by the hate is ourselves. Because the person that we hate could care less. And they don't even know about it. They're moved on. You move on. Let's forget about the hate. No more hate, please. Number two. Happiness doesn't depend on outward conditions. It depends on inner conditions. Well, your happiness is directly related to how you feel. How you feel is directly related to how you think and process what's going on around you. So if you think about this one, it doesn't depend on anybody outside of you. The only person that can make you unhappy is yourself. It's your choice. So no more looking at the guy over there, the gal over there, your friends, your boyfriend, your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, your spouse, making you unhappy. No one can make you do a gosh darn thing. You do everything that affects you, okay? You're influenced by other people only if you allow that influence to occur. Good evening, Ricardo. How are you, brother? Ricardo, do me a favor. Give me a call tomorrow. I want to talk about some business with you. Okay, number three. Remember, today is tomorrow that you worried about yesterday. Holy crap. Today is the tomorrow that you worried about yesterday. How many of you were worried about something yesterday that didn't happen today, but today is today and it's the yesterday's tomorrow? Unbelievable. So tomorrow is today's tomorrow. Tomorrow will be today's yesterday. I don't know if that makes any sense. Makes sense to me. Say it this way. What you think might happen tomorrow, what you're worried about, almost guaranteed not to happen. I think that's the best way to think about things. So stop worrying about the future. Stop worrying about the now that you're in right now. I think it's very, very important. Okay. Your thoughts make us what we are. Number four. Yeah. I mean, what you think about all day long is what you end up getting. I think I said it the other day. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, if I got everything I thought about instantaneously, I'd be either a bottle of beer or a woman. All right. So that was back when I was a kid. Today, I understand that what you think about fleetingly, you know, it's just a thought, but what you focus on and concentrate on and visualize and hammer into your brain as a reality usually becomes a reality. So your thoughts are what make you who you are today. So let's, let's pay attention to that. Number five, be more concerned with your character than with your reputation. Your character is what you are, while your reputation is merely what other people <laughs> think you are. So I love that one because, quite frankly, I could care less what people think about me. I really don't care. It doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, if I hurt somebody, I will be very quick to apologize to that individual. So they may not like me because I did something to them. Great. But try to avoid that. But I don't care what other people think. And you should not care what other people think. What you need to care about is what you think about you. Your self-image, your self-image is critical. Your self-esteem is what will drive you to the next uh, ne next uh, gar uh, yard post, okay? The next goal. That's where you happen. Hey, Todd, how are you? Louie, what's going on? Diane, how are you? All right, let's see. Where, are, where am I? Okay. Number six. If you want to keep happiness, you have to share it. It's like anything else. If you want love, you have to give love. If you want happiness, you have to give happiness. If you want peace, you have to be peaceful and give peace to other people. That's the way the world works right now. I think it's so important. It's made to be shared. 
Money is made to be shared. Happiness is made to be shared. So share the wealth, share the happiness, get out there and do it. Number seven, develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to succeed. Look, I look at failure, uh, you know, as a springboard to the next level. I care less about failure. In fact, I welcome it. I'm working on some new software right now, tax software. I have two different programs running uh, at the same time on my system. And uh, one of the softwares is cloud-based because I'm testing it. Horrible stuff. Their own tech could not figure out uh, why I wasn't able to e-file a particular return using their own software. It took me about two or three hours. I figured it out. And now I'm using that particular uh, set, of, uh, set of guidelines that I created myself. And I'm applying it. And now I've speeded up the process using it. So I could have let it get me down. I could have had it aggravate me. I could have said, oh my God, I can't take it anymore. But I did not. I found a solution. I failed and then I found a solution and moved forward. Number seven. I'm sorry, number eight. No matter what happens, always be yourself. Well, being yourself is the easiest way to be successful. Just be you. Don't be fake. Don't be phony. Don't be the guy that's on Instagram jumping over a fence, taking a picture of him next to some, you know, Learjet at Republic Airport. It's just plain stupid and it doesn't accomplish anything. You're not proving anything to anybody. You fake it till you make it, it's just dumb. Do not do it. Just be you. Be real. And if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, if you're on any of these social media sites where you're trying to drive brand or create a brand for yourself, then I think it's critical that you just be real. Just be real. Be you. Don't go, don't be adding errors to who you think you think people need to hear you being. They don't need, they need to know who you are one-on-one. -on -one. I think it's important. All right, that's pretty cool. Hey Marvin, how are you, buddy? Number uh, number nine. Uh, nothing can bring peace but yourself. Remember this, no one has control over your peace of mind. You're the only one that does. Number 10, one reason, I love this. One reason why birds and horses are not ha unhappy is because they're not trying to impress other birds and horses. Everybody that I know that's trying to impress other people, they're unhappy, they're miserable because they're trying to keep up with the Joneses and the Bills and the social media posts and everybody else that's around them maybe faking it till they make it and they themselves feel inadequate because they're not driving the new car. They're not driving, they're not living in the biggest house on the block. Hey, Lynn, how are you, darling? What's going on, sweetheart? Windy England, I heard. You guys are getting crazy over there. Uh, the bottom line is this. You, you just need to understand that uh, you make your life what you make your life. No one else controls that. And you should not care what other people have or what you think other people have, because you don't know what their reality is. Because more likely than not, they're just faking it till you make it. Yeah, without a doubt, you don't need assets to be happy. I certainly can t attest to that fact. Um, you can't win an argument. I'll just do number 11. You can't win an argument because if you lose it, you lose it. And if you win it, you still lose it. How, how cool is that? Uh, compromise is the only way to end a disagreement, you know, because if you win the argument, yeah, they're going to feel like they lost something and they're going to hold it against you. So don't, don't even bother arguing. Uh, today is a, number 12, today is a precious possession. It's the, our only sure possession. Well, our lives every single day, uh, the only thing that should matter. A lot of people are living their life like they're coming back. You know, and you might come back. You might have a belief that you're going to come back here, but you might come back, you know, as a tulip or a potted plant, or an aardvark, uh, or a hippopotamus. Uh, you know, you might not come back as a human being. You only get one spin around the dial. So why not make every single day count for, for you know, moving yourself forward? Stop looking uh, at this life as, you know, endless, because it is not, because it will end eventually. It's just a matter of when. 50 years from now, 30 years from now, whatever, I don't know. But live your life as if today is the last day, and you'll be very, very happy if you did. Okay, if you want to gather honey, number, two, number 13, if you want to gather honey, don't kick over the beehive. <laughs> I like that one. Isn't that, that's pretty funny, right? Uh, number 14, all men have fears, but the brave put down their fears and go forward, sometimes to death, but always to victory. Fear is nothing but an emotional response to things that you think are going to happen. False expectations, things appearing real, will face everything and run. Uh it's just, it's, it's not a reality. It's, it's a figment of your imagination. So face those fears, plot through that because everything that you want is on the other side of that door. Everything that you want in life. Number 15, last one, the expression, one wears on one's face is far more important than the clothes that one wears on one's back. Uh, 
Yeah, how you relate to people face to face is going to be critical. I, mean, I can read people just like that, uh, just based on how their face looks. Now, they could be talking to me, they could appear to be happy, but their face is telling me a different story. So be the person that other people want to look to when they want an uplift, when they want to get plugged in and get elevated and uh, inflated and built up. You be that person and it will come back to you a thousandfold. So happy weekend, happy Friday. We will see you guys this time, this place tomorrow night. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. We'll see you tomorrow night. God bless.